नमस्कार हार्टी वेलकम टू आल नॉलेज सीकर्स टू मई चानल दिस्ज डाक्टर मधुसूदन राव कड़प इन सम अदर वीडियो ई हेव एक्सप्लेन अबउट दि इंपारटेंस आफ् इंवेट्री कंट्रोल एंड डिफरेंट कास्ट इनवाल इन हैंडली इंवेट्री एंड यो क्यू फार्मुला एंड सम अदर थियरटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट नव इन दिस वीडियो ई एम गोयिंग टू एक्सप्लेन some selective inventory control techniques here we have abc analysis ved analysis xyz analysis and fnsd analysis these are uh, different selective inventory control techniques now the criteria for these different analysis are also different So ABC analysis is based on the classification of inventory items into three classes A class A class B and class C depending on the annual usage value of the inventory items whereas a VED analysis this analysis is based on the criticality or importance of the presence or availability of the inventory item and how it affects the system as a whole coming to xyz analysis this is based on the unit value of the item so the classification will be like uh, the items which have more unit value more means high unit value classed as x and moderate unit value items will be classed as y and the low unit uh, unit value items or classed as z items in coming to the last one fnsd analysis this analysis is based on the rate of consumption accordingly these four letters indicates fast normal slow dead so depending on the rate of consumption so now come let us uh, discuss about these uh, techniques one by one first abc analysis in literature authors term this abc as always better control here as the criteria for classification of items into classes a b and c is the annual usage value as we know that the total expenditure in the total expenditure in any organization inventory constitutes the major amount among all other expenditures inventory is highest so any saving in inventory will directly add to the profit so here in any organization maybe having some hundreds of inventory items then among these items only a few that is 5 to 10% in count in the total count this will contribute towards 75 to 80% of the total annual usage usage value that means we are spending more 75 to 80% of the amount on only very few items for example if we take uh, in a alloy casting industry say there the major items for example if it is a cast iron then iron scrap ferro silicon ferro mass silicon manganese magnesium these are only a few items but in the overall annual usage value this will constitute around 75 to 80% all remaining items will be 20 to 25% similarly coming to the b class items 15 to 20% of the total number of items in the inventory list will contribute 10 to 15% in the total annual usage value these are b class items and all remaining items that is 70 to 75% in any store you can find these are c class items with annual usage value 5 to 
These are low cost items. Now, how this ABC analysis is done means in the total list of inventory items, annual usage value for all the items will be calculated and uh, these items will be arranged in a descending order of the annual usage values and uh, in the top we will have the items with highest annual usage values and in the descending order of annual usage values all the items will be arranged and in the cumulative we will see only for a few items the cumulative will be 75 to 80 there we will have a cutoff line and all those items in within that will be treated as A class items and uh, for next 10 to 15 percent of the annual usage value we will class them as B class B items and all remaining items in the list will be treated as C class items. Now after classifying the inventory items into A, B, C we have to pay more attention towards class A items because their annual usage value is high. Since these items are lesser in number, we can have more control over those items. And B items, class B items need moderate control. And class C items, we need not uh, go into much uh, stringent control on these items. In uh, majority of cases in companies, you may find these items uh, maybe uh, thrown somewhere, I mean dumped near the production facilities. Uh, of course sometimes uh, the store people may not even count the items available there because uh, their value, the annual usage value is very less. So spending time on uh, counting and identifying any theft or damage like that uh, is a waste of time. So more attention is paid on A and Moderate attention, attention is paid on uh, class B items and very less attention is paid on class C items. This is how ABC classification of inventory items will help in controlling the inventory. And coming to the VED analysis. Now the criteria for uh, segregation or division of inventory items into vital, V for vital, E for essential and D for desirable items is that the importance or criticality of the item how important that item is so we will class those items as vital which when not available in the store the entire production system has to be stopped so such items are called vital items for example, in a sugar factory, sugar cane is vital. There is no sugar cane, we have to shut down the entire unit. Like that. Similarly, essential items are those which if not available in the store, of course it may not stop the entire system, but it will reduce the efficiency of the system. Reduce the efficiency of the production system. Such items are called essential items. Whereas the desirable items are those which neither, I mean the non-availability of such items will neither stop the production system nor affect the efficiency. So such items, if they are available, it's good. Otherwise, not a problem. So these items are desirable. So this is how we can classify items in VED analysis. Coming to XYZ analysis, the criteria for classification of items is the unit cost or unit value. So based on the unit cost of the inventory items, high value items, high unit cost items will be treated as class X and moderate unit value items are treated as class Y and the low cost, low unit cost or unit value items are treated as class Z. So accordingly, we have to uh, decide how much control is required on different classes of items. Next coming to the fourth one, FNSD analysis. 
Here the criteria for classification of items is the consumption, rate of consumption. In organization, you may find some items may be quickly consumed, that means the consumption rate will be more and some items will have somewhat lesser and so on. So depending on the rate of consumptions, we can classify the items as fast moving items, normal moving items, that means with a normal rate of consumption, then slow moving items, that means the rate of consumption is less and D, D for dead, dead items, those items which have not been used for a long time. So this kind of analysis is very much helpful in organizations to find obsolete items and uh, those items which might have been purchased based on uh, some production plans which might have been changed or maybe due to sudden change in design or any other factors or any other reasons some of the items may not be used over a long period. So this kind of analysis can be used to identify such items and uh, to find means to dispose such items to save the storage space. So this is how different selective inventory control techniques can be used for effective utilization of the financial resources of the organization and to identify the obsolete, de uh, I mean uh, damaged or uh, any other items in dead stock and to avoid or minimize damage, theft, leakage, deterioration of items and uh, for improving the efficiency of the operations and to see that the production system will not stop due to non-availability of any of the item. So this is how the inventory control, different inventory control techniques are there. These techniques can be used depending on the nature of organization, nature of the production process or uh, the extent of inventory control required. So we can select suitable technique and implement for effective utilization of the resources. Thank you very much.